break it down, uh, break it down, uh, break it down, uh. Break it down, 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 break break it down. Yo, if you know, you know. What song is that? What up, Wagwan? It's just saying it's your girl, Mina Dubi. I remember it's Mina, right? Not Mina, not Mina, not Mina. <laughs> like, just not Mina. It's Mina. Mina. Mina means my mom. Me, it's me. Na is the shortened version of Nana, Grandma, Mina. I was named after my dad's mom. I digress. Hi. All right. Now, we, we see the ponytail, okay? We see a ponytail today, all right? <laughs> comment below if you're into the ponytail. Oh, if you hate it, don't comment. <laughs> I don't care. In this video, we are gonna be trying on some new products. I don't know if I've shown you these products, have I? You see that my grease is off the hairline because my hair was tied. So I obviously wasn't able to put skincare on my hairline, but we don't need it on the hairline, right? Notice a new background. If you watch my vlog, you know I got a new vanity mirror. I was gonna get the Impressions vanity one, but it cost a lot of money. This one was a, was a steal on Amazon, praise his name. Link to it is below if you are interested. All righty, should I go down more because of my ponytail? Or should I stay where I am? Yeah, because the ponytail is making her debut, okay? She's like, wait, <laughs> you need to fit me in this frame. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> but you mad high. I don't know how that happened. Let's get into the video because we're doing a lot of talking right now. First things first is I'm going to use the, I got to prime my lips. Now, here's the problem. This lip primer is what? Going out of sale? I mean, Elf, you could have let me know. You know what I'm saying? You could have just said that. If you were trying to get, discontinue this, you could have just said that because all of us are out here looking for this lip primer and we can't find it. Why can't we find a lip primer? This is a lock on lip primer. Not lip primer. We've been over this a million times. It's not lip primer. It's lip primer. End of story. Now, I do have like two or three in the archives. That is why it's so important to make sure you stock up on what you love because when the people decide that they want to discontinue something, they're not going to think about how you feel and what you need. They're going to discontinue it. They're going to repackage it. They're going to redo it. And then you'll be out here looking stupid. I'm glad I have two or three, but that just simply isn't enough. <laughs> the girls need more than two or three. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to primer, face primer right where is it i don't have my becca somebody's stealing my stuff like how do you steal stuff from right under my nose oh she was hiding way at the bottom that's the problem when your makeup kit is mad full what the heck i was like wait where's my becca how you gonna just be disappearing like that like you need to be here at all times available when i need you okay i'm gonna prime my face with the becca ever matte poreless primer i know you asked whether or not i was going to stock up on this i thought about it but here's the problem when we creators use products you want to know where to find it when this gets discontinued because when the brand goes out of business in the fall and let's say i'm using this next year people are gonna be like oh what primer is that where's the link to it where can i find it there's no link so then now you look at me like well can you tell me another one that works my face was really dewy hence why this is so clumpy becca ever matte poreless primer you really have to do the padding motion because this thing will crumble up on you that's just I had SPF on and I did my skincare a while ago, but it's still crumbling up. If my face were drier, it wouldn't look like this, but it's not the end of the world. I know how to fix it. So yeah, people gonna be like, where's the link? And that's the problem. So that's why I was like, you know what? I do want to stock up on this, but no, I try to do my best to stick with things that you can still purchase, but I have to have some lippies and I'm like, I don't care what y'all say. I'm gonna wear this lippy. And whenever y'all ask me, there's no link. <laughs> Cause it's cute. Like Shayla's ColourPop lippy that she did with them. Ooh, that thing is bomb. I bought five of them. So note to self and note to you, if you if your face is really dewy. I use, today I used the Shea Moisture Vitamin C Oil and I know that that's what kept my face really oily. Note to self not to use that on a makeup day because the oils just did not subside like they normally do, even with my SPF and my moisturizer and all that. It just didn't subside like normal. That's why you saw that, but it's all fixed. It's all good, we good to go. Okay, so I have two options, right? I wanna do the Fenty Skin Tint, but I also wanna try this NARS Ganache that I have not tried. Like I just have not tried it. And you already know the story. I did the deal. This is na 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 da 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 da. So I have ganache and it's really really matte. What about if I do the Nars Skin Tint next time? How about I put on Nars Skin Tint tomorrow and I'll record that. But today I want to do the Nars Soft Matte and I want to see if ganache is my color because I've had this for a minute and if it ain't my color, I'm stuck with it because I know Sephora has a uh, what's it called? You know what I'm saying a deadline on return. So the good thing is it's a squeeze tube. So if it doesn't work, I'll just gift it. All right. My other brush is dirty and needs to be cleaned. So I'm gonna use this you'll see the brush i'm gonna use oh already it's looking good hold on a minute oh 
yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh, yes. Nice and neutral. Oh. Wowzers. Oh, y'all. Now, I know I gotta go fast because I know this, this is from last year, but from what I can remember, it dries quickly. Oh, wow. This is not warm. Now, I'm patting because I just don't want to disrupt the primer. So I'm doing patting motions, but wow. This is working for the kid. Okay, so you see how I ignored my eyelids because I am going to do eyeshadow. I don't do foundation on my eyelid unless I'm going to do my basic look. So I, it, I avoided that, but wow. This is very neutral and it is dark. It is darker on me, which I like. If you've been around here for a while, you know I like that because when I highlight and I contour, it's all going to come together. Wow. like. I remember why I like this a lot. Okay, so if you are my color match and you were waiting on me to put on the NARS the NAR soft matte foundation, it's gonna be igu Iguaku. Mm -hmm. That one, deep three. This looks really good. Like, I don't feel dry. It's matte, but I do see the light bouncing off my skin because I did do my skincare. That's still a must, but let's move on to concealer. All right, now, so for concealer, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the color 430. This is warm, which I'm using intentionally because my concealer is neutral. Wait, is this warm or is this cool? This looks cool. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> I thought it was a warm one. I'm thinking of the NARS one, excuse me. The NARS is warm. This one's cool. I'm sure it looks like it's orange to you. <laughs> but we gonna work it out though. We gonna work it out. Just watch and see. Just watch, pay attention. All right, you know I've been loving this. Fenty BB Cream Bronzer Cheeks Out Twelfty Tees. You know I've been really feeling her. <laughs> she be getting me right. She be getting me how I need to be got, okay? So, let's apply her. Okay, so if you watch any number of my videos, you know that certain products are gonna look differently based on what you pair them with. So the orangey, yellowy looking color that you saw in the concealer on this particular foundation is undoubtedly going to look different depending on what other foundation I use. Okay, if that's confusing you, I'm sorry. That's just how it goes. When it comes to my contour, this is looking differently on this foundation and concealer combination than it has looked in the past. It looks very pronounced right now. And for that reason, I'm not going to use the cheeks. I was gonna use Thick Mint to show you, but Thick Mint is very, very dark. What I'll do with Thick Mint, now that I think about it, is I'm not gonna do the cream contour beforehand. I'll just do this by itself because if I do this right now, I'm gonna look ridiculous. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this for another video. But because it does look dewy, I am gonna just take my powder brush that I use for my bronzer and go over this just to blend it a little bit and also set it because it's gonna have some leftover powder on it from when I used it last. And when I do my face powder, I'll just go over this a little as well. So I'm leaving that just like that. And you can still see my contour. Hello. I'm go up a little, but I am going to do face powder. So all of this is going to come together in a second when I do my face powder. And face powder, speaking of, okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Actually, hold on a minute. Well, once I sent me their Turn Up the Base Versatile Powder Foundation, they sent me Deep Four and it was very golden. And if I were to put that on top of this, this neutral looking face. I think it will look ridiculous. Although now I'm a little bit, I don't even know. Because this one right here is very neutral. And now I don't even wanna put this on my face. Dang it. Like, I mean, this looks really dark. Like I could put this on top of my contour. I feel. It is far too neutral. It's not gonna work. Let me take out deep four and see for a second. Sorry, it's not called deep four, it's called dark four. All right, so here is dark four and this is what this looks like. Very golden. Maybe this will work. Maybe this will work just in the center of my face. Let's see. Okay, wait a minute. I just changed my own mind. Did you see what just happened? 
my face just warmed up. It looks more golden now. Wow, okay, Whew, here we go. All right, so I actually, I'm not gonna use Deep 5N and it's not gonna work out. Maybe as a contour. I mean, to maybe to set my contour, but this is light. This is not gonna work, but wow, I was going real easy because I was concerned, but yo, this does work. You see, I didn't put it everywhere now. I didn't even go on over my, over my contour, but I am right now just with the remnants. Nothing's really on here, but wow, I was really nervous. I didn't know what this was gonna do, but this worked. Alrighty, dark 4G, this is dark 4G. Remember, this is not for my whole face. It will not work on the whole face. Essentially, I was putting it between my highlighting contour, between my highlighting contour, between my highlighting contour, between my highlighting contour, between my highlighting contour. I was focusing it there. See that, I didn't put it everywhere. That's the strategy, that's what I do. And I love how this looks. Alrighty then, moving on. Okay, so you saw me put my eye primer on, which is the e.l.f. Putty Situation Primer. I did use the Juvia's Place Primer in my other video and things didn't go the way they should have went. And so I just didn't reach for it per se. It is nice to cut crease, but I'm not gonna use it like as my, the bottom base. You get what I mean. I have this new Rare Beauty eyeshadow palette called True To Myself. I wanna give this a try and see what's going on. I'm not gonna be able to use it as a full start to finish eyeshadow palette only because this color is not warm enough for me at all. In fact, it looks to me like it's cool. Although it's a different color than this. This is more ashy than this one is, but this is still not warm enough for me. So what I am gonna do, you know what? <laughs> I love this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. It is fantasimo. What I'm gonna do is use this bronzer in my crease. I could use a color from a palette, but I just, ooh, this is actually too dark. I don't like to go dark right away. Okay, well, that was a mistake. <laughs> but we here, you know, <laughs> we're already here. Less dense. All right, so blending that out. This is deep, but it's not horrific. It's just deeper than I would like. I like to go lighter and then go darker. But we just got here quicker and that's okay. And I like to make sure I feather into my brown bone highlight and even out toward here so that there's no harsh transition between anything. I don't need there to be a harsh transition between my brow bone highlight and my eyelid. Like just not at all. It's just not my vibe. So there's that. Oh, you know, I also do have a Too Faced teddy bear situation. Well, no. Well, these are moths. I don't know. Maybe I could, this would be too dark. This would be like what I just used. This one is looking more attractive to me than the Rare Beauty one, just cause the colors are warmer. Well, by golly, Miss Molly. I like the way that this color is looking. This color is, I don't know what this is, but I like the way that's looking. I wanna put it in my brow bone, but right here between my, you see that? Do you see that? It's very subtle, but I'm all about the subtle. I'm not in a rush. This is what I would have put on first if I had taken this palette out because look, it just gives me more dimension in my brow bone than just this. This is just too boring, too straight to the point, not for me. That is not how I do my eyeshadow. Like just look at that, just a little something. It's very subtle. You gotta open your eyes if you wanna see it. <laughs> very, very subtle. I can see it in person. Back with this, nothing's on it. I'm just reinforcing what we've already put down in the crease area. All right, I think I'm gonna just use, not I think I am, let's not think. Let's just be decisive. We're gonna use this eyeshadow palette. Teddy bear, teddy bear, teddy bear. We're gonna use teddy bear. Let's be decisive. Stop saying I think when you actually plan on doing it, like you're going to do it. Maybe I wanna do a halo. I haven't done a halo, halo. Let me see a halo, halo. I haven't done a halo in a minute. I'm not doing a cut crease. I don't feel like it right now. You know what I'm saying? Let me do a halo today, okay? Let me get the girls a halo. We're gonna do that and go for now. There are no names on this stuff. Oh, they're on the back. Girl, we ain't doing that, okay? I'm, I'm usually gonna see what I do, okay? I can't be turning this back and front to tell you what's going on. <laughs> All right, this is a pink. Oh yes, brightening this up. We're gonna just really wing the whole thing, you know? Just throw everything on a big, huge salad 
bowl. Blending this into the crease, you already know. Going wildly with it because I don't need this to be too defined. I just need this to be on. Now, when it comes to the outer areas, I'm gonna bring this in afterward, not right now. Do you want this to be a little bit darker? So taking this mauve type color and putting it right here on the end. Although now that I see it, this color is a lot lighter than I expected it to be. What in the world? Oh, hi. And sometimes that happens. The colors really don't do what you think they're gonna do. This is the color right here. It is not doing what I thought it was gonna do. Hello. It is pretty though. So same on this side. And this is a random flat brush. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. Just needs to be the same shape. So if you see the shape, it's a flat brush. A small one at that because of the space. I'm applying this eyeshadow too. It needs to be a flat brush. If I were putting this eyeshadow all over my eyelid, I would use a bigger brush. Why? So that I can get this done in a faster manner. The size of the brush that I choose depends on the area that I'm applying the eyeshadow to. What I wanna do is take this darker color right up here in the corner and see how we gonna look if I put this here. Yeah, I just need to deepen this out, you know? It was just looking a little bit too light for the kid. Yeah, okay. And also right in here, this is starting to look like something I've already done. <laughs> I love how it is giving me. I've used this before vibes, but that's okay. You know, just lightly applying it here in the corner because we, I want there to be a gradient going from light to dark. So I'm not putting it every just like right here-ish. I am still going to highlight my inner eye. That is something that I always do. It's a must. It looks really good. Not taking too much of this, not bringing it too high up. Although just a second, I do want to bring this a little high up, right? So taking the same purple color and looking down to isolate my crease and applying it in, okay? Always tapping off the excess unless you enjoy having eyeshadow on your face. I do my face first, so gotta look down gotta tap off the excess okay blending all of that out i do like to bring my crease color up to my eyebrow in the front because it just looks amazing that way that's really a great way for everything to look really blended i don't like for there to be no big old gap between my brow and my eyeshadow right here i just seen that in the work of great makeup artists and i enjoy it so that's what I do. I'm one of the great makeup artists. Patting myself on the back here today. Okay, taking some more of this purple, starting on the outside of it. Take your time, build this up. We're not in a rush. You rush your eyeshadow, it's going to look like you rush your eyeshadow. Take your time. If you wanna look beautiful, give it a little bit of time. And I'm not pressing this too hard either. You wanna be gentle. You really do wanna be gentle. Lightly feathering it out here to blend everything in. Now, I know you must be thinking, well, that brown color disappeared. Well, she showed sure did, but she was looking right for the second. You know, when she was, I can actually still see her. It's like a brownish orange. I can actually still see her. I can still see her. You might not, but I can, and that's what matters. <laughs> Now with that same smaller flat brush, I wanna do something light on the inner part of my eye. So here goes one of the light colors. It's probably gonna look white, but you know, we gonna go with it. Yeah, it looks white. Mm, just what I didn't want, but that's okay. It's like a baby pink, a very, 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 very baby, like a cry baby pink, like not a baby that's sleeping quietly and sweetly in her bassinet. This is like a baby that has colic. Yeah, but it's actually coming together and see how I widened it. I didn't keep it this small. I made it wider. I like it. It opened up my eye. What do you think? Now this is not matching my Ntuma. This Ntuma is from Puerto Rico. It's not matching it. That's not the point. <laughs> I just have this on because it's easy to throw on after I take a shower. Like, hello. Oh, this is looking, this is looking cute. What do you think? Just like roughly putting it on. And although it's rough using this color right here, although it's rough, it does look really good, huh? Now this is going to be the kicker, adding more gradient. I like for there to be a nice transition. I'm going to take this pink color because it's really, really pink right here. Wait, where is it? Excuse me. This one, I'm going to take this pink color right here and put that right there. Do you see? So we've got a gradient from this milky pink to the baby pink. I guess this is more baby pink and then the purple, okay? I want that to be a gradient. So I wanna keep it right there. And then on this side as well, I took a little too much. So tapping off the X 
excess here and putting it on. It's gonna kind of take away the middle, but what I'm gonna do now, now that I see how this looks, like do you see the difference? I'm gonna put something else in the middle. I'm gonna put a little frosty, the snowman color in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Call it a frosty day. That's what I'm gonna do for the middle. And it's gonna really make that middle pop, you dig? It's gonna be fantastic. Just like right here, just like right there. A little bit more in the front. I'm taking a very light amount, right? A very, very light amount. I'm out. <laughs> Why am I talking this way? I have no idea. I think it's the vibe. Yeah, it's totally the vibe. All right, now in terms of the middle of my eye, let's see, I'm either going to use this color. This is really overly exposed, so you're not gonna see it well. Either this color or this color. So let's see which one I like. Oh, one is gold, one is pink. I want the pink one. Yeah, so which one was that? <laughs> This one, I'm gonna use this color right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that pink one in the middle of my eye, okay? Taking my ring finger and taking some of the product. Is that what I wanna do? I don't know what I wanna do right now. Oh my gosh, this is not what I wanted to do. This is what I'm doing now. Ugh, I don't know what I'm doing. This is not what I wanted. I wanted something lighter. Oh my God, this isn't what I wanted. Well, here we are. Wait, how did we get here? How did you get here? Mm, 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 mm. No supposed to be but you came along and you changed my mind look at me sinking and doing this i'm about to move my contacts out of the prime position i can't i just can't thank you oh no this actually does look good yo sometimes when y'all see the end result and you're like oh, 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 oh i love it i'm like yeah i actually hated this when i was doing it but thank you <laughs> You know, like it's giving something right now, but I was a little bit concerned, as you saw. It was like a little bit of a problem. The tide of this look has changed. It does, it definitely has changed. The tide has has gone a different direction. All right, let's bring this stuff down to the bottom because you know how that goes. You gotta bring everything down to the bottom in order for the look, yeah, to look, you know, cohesive. We're gonna just put black on the bottom and go sit down. That is not the way I move. <laughs> at all okay moving the colors down to the bottom in a gradient like nature you're gonna see how i do that These lashes are looking a little wild. <laughs> I've used these. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty one next time. I've used these, so they're looking a little wild. Eyeliner is obviously always important. Bottom eyeliner, where we at? What we got? What we doing? How are we gonna do it? What are we doing and how are we doing it? Where are we? All right, here we go. The lip bar, straight out of patience, all right? Taking the back of my tweezers, opening up my eye waterline and applying this eyeliner. This is a technique that I just started doing on my own and I love it. It's fantastic. If you've seen my video explanation about it on IGTV, then you know. If you have not, basically don't touch your face with your fingers. I learned that as a makeup artist and I keep that as a creator. Unless obviously I'm putting on my eyelashes like you just saw, but there's no need for you to be pulling down your face to apply your eyeliner. You're stretching your skin out unnecessarily. So that's what I do. Of course, I make sure I clean the back of my tool before I do that. Now you already know that Flaunt from Rare Beauty is my jam in the Illuminizer. I did buy two more of those from Sephora with a sale because it is just my absolute fave. Love it, love it, love it. I wanna use this rose, but I'm nervous. Have I used this before? Was it too dewy for me? What did I think? I cannot remember. Okay, I can't remember, so I'm gonna do it again. This is the Rare Beauty Nearly Rose. What did I think about it? Remind me, comment below before I do it. Before I go in, did I love it? Did I hate it? I don't know. 
It's looking pretty. Did it dry down? It's gonna dry down, right? Like we're not gonna walk outside like this, are we? <gasps> did it mattify? What did it do? I'd have to Google to see if this is a satin to matte situation or not. I did, I overdid it. Overdid it, is that a word? Odied it, ooh, I odied it, ooh. Me looking like a Barbie doll, wait a, ooh. Ooh, ooh, got a little situation because I had the, the bronzer, the, the highlighter, the aluminizer on it. Uh-oh, we got a little situation and it ain't looking too good. Okay, hold on a minute, uh, ooh. <laughs> Okay, so this came out really, really pigmented, which is a great thing for the product. Not a great thing for me <laughs> because I wasn't expecting all of that color. So with nothing on the brush except leftover product from when I used it last, I wanna just go over this to take away the shine. Yeah, this is like better for me. I don't like my face looking greasy. You already know. And can we talk about, that looks better. And can we, t it's still a lot though, but. <laughs> We're here. Can we talk about how this foundation looks? Wow, this look good. Ow, 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 ow. Break it down, break it down, break it down. Break it down, 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 break, 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 Yo, if you know, you know, what song is that? Hold on. I love how this foundation is making me look kind. I like how this is looking, yeah. I'm doing a lot right now. How does that make you feel? Comment and let me know. Wow, this is fantastimo. I, I know, I feel so inclined to go with a pinky nude lip and I know that I shouldn't. I really, really shouldn't. I know that, but I feel like doing it, right? Cause I can't do purple. I don't feel like it and I don't wear purple often. I used to, times have changed. What lip color should I do? I'm so annoyed. I am gonna do a shield. I hope where I'm going ain't gonna get on my get on my case by my shield, man. I'm doing the shield. Come on, I ain't doing my look for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing this for no reason. I need my look to still be a look. Or should I give a nude type gloss situation? First of all, wait, let's do the mascara. Let's just do that. It cosmetic superhero. All right, I'm gonna do my brown nude something, whatever you call it. I just, I just love it so much. All right, what color is this? Ooh, what color is this one? This is, some, I haven't tried this one out yet. Maybelline More Taupe. This is one of the new Maybelline lips, lippies in the color More Taupe, okay? Let's see, I don't know. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but okay. I wanted something darker on the out, outer part of my lip, but that's fine. This is gorge. I could do this all over, but. You know how I feel about a gradient lip. So this would be really, really beautiful all over, but this also would be really, really beautiful on the inside with a darker lip. Like this would be really, really nice. But what I am gonna put on the inside is, I don't know if just the gloss is gonna do it for me. Hold on, I'm gonna use this one. This is the Huda Beauty, is it Huda? Huda or Huda? I always wanna say Huda. You know the song, Huda, 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 Huda. Okay, Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in the color Interview. Okay, it's a little pink. This is looking very uniform right now. Uh-oh, this ain't working out, hold on. <laughs> Oh no, it broke. Oh no, this ain't doing what it was supposed to do. I really should have went, you know, with the darker color because the color wasn't what I thought. And so it's making me look ashy. Hold on, just lightly going over the edges so that it's not so harsh. The lip came out, it came out, it worked out, kind of. <laughs> I would, I would prefer the outer part to be darker, but we move, it still works. This looks like something I've done, I've done already, but that happens sometimes. All right, if you love the look, I want you to comment below and tell me what part about it you like, what products you love, what products you plan on getting. If you already have it, tell me. Also, give the video a thumbs up, make sure you share it, press the share button, share with your girlfriend. Make sure you are also subscribed. All right, and as always, I'm glad that you're here. As always, I literally am always glad that you're here. Glad that you watched the video to the end and I wanna make sure you are subscribed. And thanks for watching. Bye.